John Morrison, a.k.a. Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, Johnny Lucha Labs, is considered the Leonardo da Vinci of the squared circle. He's a renaissance man who's worked his way through the ranks to dominate different organizations, find success as a rapper, and excel as a bounty hunter. John's time chasing fugitives is captured in an award-winning documentary that details the dangers of the profession. America, you're welcome. Morrison even retreated into the remote jungles of Fiji to test his mettle against the locals. What exactly makes John Morrison so good at everything. The popular hypothesis is exceptional balance, but this is only a partial explanation. Everyone has a vestibular apparatus. This structure feeds the brain information about equilibrium, spatial orientation, and motion. But not everyone can move like Morrison. Oh my god! Spanish We designed an experiment to figure out why not. This is North America's moist, dangerous obstacle course. Built in 1972 to host the U.S. Olympic Gymnastic Trials, it has everything to test the limits of the human body. Dizzying heights, extreme jumps, unforgiving landing surfaces. Lucha Lab scientists outfitted Morrison with state-of-the-art motion sensors to capture multiple planes of movement. His first challenge, rotational motion, followed by a sudden, jarring increase in elevation that aerobically depletes the muscles. A shockwave ricochets to tax the nervous system. And then, the ultimate test, the walk of death, where even the slightest misstep can mean a skinned knee, a broken bone, death, or worse. Despite all these challenges, Morrison ran the course in an astounding 22.1 seconds, smashing the previous record held by gymnastics legend Nadia Comaneci. It was obvious additional variables were necessary. Under close supervision of Lucha Lab staff, the guru of greatness voluntarily drank 40 ounces of premium malt liquor. Alcohol affects how the inner ear maintains balance. It tricks the brain into thinking the body is moving much more than it really is. Finally, we further maximized disorientation. We had John spin around a fixed point, proven for decades to be the most effective technique to evoke dizziness. Incredibly, despite these new obstacles, John completed the obstacle course even faster than before. The difference in speed was a huge clue in figuring out that it's actually John Morrison's physique that's responsible for his success. It makes sense. Morrison's internal systems work in balance, just like the rest of us. But his build is one of a kind. When we fully extrapolate the data, John Morrison may have the moist aerodynamic frame in the history of pro wrestling. His body is like a teardrop reducing frictional drag for optimal movement. Moist high-risk maneuvers fail because of too much drag. John's streamlined frame reduces the amount of air molecules that collide with him. He can move in ways 99.97% of the population simply can't. The Mayor of Slamtown. What in the hell was that? The guru of greatness. The shaman of sexy. John Morrison could go by any other name, and he would be just as sweet. There's no denying that Morrison has some of the most innovative offense ever seen inside or outside the wrestling ring. And he's got his physique to thank for. Hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Otherwise, you may not know when we release a new scientific analysis. Also, please follow us on social media for a chance to win this hat. It may not protect you from airborne illnesses, but it does look cool. Details are in the description below.